Now, today, well, this question now is from summer 2009 variant, well, there's no variant, actually. Uh, summer 2009, paper four, question number six. This is the type of question where many students struggle, where you have to prove some algebraic center, uh, you know, statement over here. We're told um, that the area of this triangle ABC is 40 centimeters squared. And we have to show that x squared plus 5x minus 36 equals 0. They've given us some information about this triangle. So what we have to realize is we have to find a way to link all the different pieces of information in the question together. Okay, that's what we have to try and do. Okay, so we have to find this particular link between the information given in the question. So I'm going to use my highlighter here, although I think we shouldn't really use it in the exam, but anyway, just to show you. Now, basically, they've told us that this is a triangle. That's one thing. So we know that it's a triangle. Okay? That's the first thing. Um, and secondly, um, they've told us, the other important information is that the area of the triangle is 40 centimeters squared. Okay? So we know it's a triangle, and we know the area of the triangle. And we can see that, also, they've given us this, which is the vertical height of the triangle, because uh, we see um, it's a vertical height, because there's a right angle over here. And we also know the length all the way from A to D, and then from D to C. So we have the vertical height, okay, and we also have the base of this triangle. Okay, so that's how we can link together the information given in the question. Okay, the, 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 the question, the information is linked together in that particular manner. Okay, so we know that the area of a triangle, the area of a triangle is given by a half times a base times the height. A half times a base times a height. And we know that we've got a half times the base, which is now, the base is x plus 6 plus x plus 2. So that's 2x plus 8. That's the base. All the way from A to C is the base. So to make it a bit easier, I'll just say a half times 2x plus 8. So a half times the base, which is 2x plus 8, times the height, which is x plus 1. And we know that that's equal to 40 square centimeters. Now, I can multiply this whole bracket by a half, even with x plus 4. So I'll have x plus 4 times x plus 1 equals 40. If I expand this bracket, I'll have x squared plus x plus 4x, which gives you plus 5x, plus 4 times 1, which is 4, equals 40. And now I can subtract 40 from both sides. I'll be left with x squared plus 5x minus 36 equals 0, okay, which is exactly what we had to prove. x squared plus 5x minus 36 equals 0. So I've showed the working up here so you could see it next to the triangle. Really, you would show the working in the space down here. Okay? Now, then the next part of the question tells us to solve the equation x squared plus 5x minus 36 equals 0. Now, one piece of advice here is that sometimes somebody does not know how to do part A of the question. And they don't even look at part B or part 2 or part A, or they don't go to the other parts of the question at all. Okay, there's three marks for question number what, 6A, A part 1. Okay, then there's two marks for question A part 2. Now, most of the students know how to solve the quadratic equation. So even though you didn't know how to show how the equation was formed, you are still maybe able to solve the equation that they give you, and therefore you can gain those two marks. And then you might even know how to use the answer in, you know, the original context to answer the other part. So you're not going to be throwing away four marks for nothing. Okay, so it's best for you to, if you don't know how to do part one of the question, always check part two if you can do it here. Part two does not depend on you knowing how to do part one. They've given you the equation 
okay, that was formed, they, they told you to show it equals this, and then you can use that to then solve this equation. Now, to solve this equation, you can solve it by factorizing. Okay, normally in an IGCSE question, if they do not mention something like solve the equation, giving your answers to two decimal places or to one decimal place or three, they give you some degree of accuracy to round it to. If that does not occur, that means you can solve it by factorizing. Okay, so we can actually, we know quite confidently that we will be able to factorize this question. So you've got x in both brackets. This is a simple type of factorizing. We do not need to split the middle term because you have a 1x squared. So it's pretty simple for you, for you to just write it in two brackets straight away. So you have x in both brackets. You have a plus in one of them and a minus in the other one because you know you have a negative product. The product is negative 36 and the sum is positive 5. So you've got to think of all the ways of getting 36 as a product of two numbers with different signs, so therefore the difference between those two numbers will be 5. So if you're not sure, you can just go through it methodically. 36 times 1, no. You've got 18 times 2, no. You've got uh, 3 times, no. 3 times, no. You've got 4 times 9 is 36, and that looks like it's the right one, doesn't it? Okay, so you have, it's going to be a positive sum, so the 9 has to be with the bigger with the positive numbers, positive sign, and the 4 has to be the negative sign. So you can say x, so we're going to use what's called the zero product property. If you have two, the product of two factors is equal to zero, then either one or the other of those factors have to be zero. So either the factor x plus 9 is equal to zero, or the factor x minus 4 is equal to zero, in which case x equals negative 9 and x equals positive Four. Okay, so this question is not in the context of the, the main question. It's just saying solve this equation. You can't say, ah, I can't have a negative length, so I'm only going to write x equals 4. You have to write them both down. That's why they have spaces for both the answers. So don't think I'm going to reject the minus 9 because the length can't be negative. No, and this is not the place to do any of that rejection because it's just asking you to solve this equation. That's it. Okay, however, now it says calculate the length of BC. Okay, so let's go back to the diagram. You see the length BC, okay, is the height. No, sorry, BC is this length here. Okay, this is BC. Okay, um, let me call it Y. Just to give it a different letter. All right, so you can see BC is part of this right angle triangle. Okay, now we know that the values of X were 4 and minus 9. Okay, let me just make sure. Look back down at the paper. Yes, 4 and minus 9. So, we can't have x equals minus 9. This is where it's time to reject the negative answer because then the length will be negative. Okay, so you can only accept the 4. So you get 4 plus 1, which is 5, so that's 5 centimeters. And you've got 4 plus 2, which is 6, so that's 6 centimeters. So we have a right angle triangle. We have a right angle triangle with uh, the length 4, 5, 6, and y as a hypotenuse. So if we go back down here, we have a right angle triangle. I make it as good as I can. Okay, you have this is y, which we're trying to find, and then we had just remember five and six, five here and six here, and we can use Pythagoras's theorem. So we know that the square of y is equal to the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides. Y is a hypotenuse. Okay, so y is going to be the square root of 25 plus 36. So y is going to be the square root of, that's going to give you 50 plus 11, that's 61. Okay? So you can use your calculator for that, and we don't even have to show that those steps here, but as long as you, it's best for you to show at least you know, something, the squares of them. So in your calculator, you can just put straight away, if you wish, the square root of 5 squared plus. 6 squared and equals. Even, you, even if you write this in your steps, the square root of 5 squared plus 6 squared, that's sufficient for, the, for you to get the marks. In case you make a mistake, you get the method marks. So that gives you 7.8102. So the answer comes out as 7.8102. Dot, 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 continues on. Now, this is not an exact answer. So therefore, we must round the answer to three significant figures unless otherwise mentioned. It's a length, it's not angle, it's not currency. So it's going to be 7.81 
as your answer rounded to three significant figures. Is that clear, mister? Okay.